What's up everybody, this is Silent Slayer, welcome back to another PE Battle League video. So guys, in today's video, I have another new team for Open Gate League. So this team is uh, suggested by one of my friends, Jeb. Shout out to Jeb, who shared his team with me. So today we're gonna fight it. We have Steelix, we have Altaria, we have Shadow Macham. Moves are Pokemon, guys. Steelix, you got a Dragon Trail, Breaking Swipe and Earthquake. Altaria, we have Dragon Breath, Moon Blast and Sky Attack. And Shadow Macham, we have Counter, Cross Shop, and Rock Slides. Here we go, let's see how this team performs. And guys, if you like new in my channel, so please subscribe. And if you did subscribe, so enjoy my video. Watch all the battle guys, because I these all the battle are like really, really epic. So moving on to the first battle. Steelix versus Langton. It's kind of bad start because Langton can easily take down Steelix. Two sub. I think two sub is like enough to knock out. So let's see how much damage it can do. Yep. Let's go for the breaking swipe. Make his attack deal. We got a really bad start. He's trying to catch his move on Altaria, but I think he just saw my Altaria, so definitely it's a Thunderbolt. But he already got one breaking swipe, so Thunderbolt doesn't do much damage. And he got another counter, guys, which is Stunkfish Galarian. Another counter for in front of Altaria, so my all the attack like do nothing in front of Stunkfish Galarian. Sky, uh, Moon Blast, Sky Attack, Dragon Breath. I think but we still have to do some damage. I hope I can clear this Sky Attack also, so do some damage. But he got another rock slide ready, so we're gonna let it go over Altaria here and then bring out. I'm gonna bring out my Machamp here because Stunkfish didn't got the much shot and he can do some damage on Steelix. So let's finish Stunkfish first with the Machamp. I'm gonna shield this here. I didn't know what third Pokemon he have. And let's see what he's gonna bring. He just bring his Langdon. Let's go farming. Let's go for the cross shop. And I think he's gonna use his shield here. And yep, that's what I thought. Let's go for another one. Yep, got it. And let's see, he's gonna use his shield or just gonna let it go. Opponent just uses both the shield, so I think he has something definitely weaker against uh, Shadow Machamp. That's why I use both the shield. Let's immediately bring out our Steelix and farm him. Let's see what he got. And he got the Umbreon at the back, and he got one shield advantage. So we, we just get back into the match. So I'm not gonna go for the Earthquake here, guys. I'm gonna go for the back to back breaking swipe. So it's got like boost to Machamp because if he get like two time attack debuff, so Machamp can easily survive his foul play. Let's go for another breaking swipe. Yep, you got two time attack debuff. Trying to deal the third one, but unfortunately, got the foul play. So, gonna let it go, Steelix here. And I know he have like the two foul play ready. First, I'm gonna use my shield here. We can only survive one. Just need to clear one cross shop, and that's what I thought. I hope it's not this psychic. And yep, it's in foul play, and we still survive. And we got the cross shop here, guys. GG for us. Really, really bad lead, bad safe swap, but still win for us. Moving on to next battle, let's see what Upon F. Steelix vs. Madicham, another bad start. Let's immediately bring out our Altaria and opponent just bring his Charizard. As you can see, another counter because Charizard got the Dragon Claw. And do super effective damage on my Altaria. Let's try to deliver the Sky Attack. And I know he's gonna use his shield here. Yeah, let's try to do the one more Sky Attack. And I think he have two Dragon Claw ready. So first, I'm gonna drain out all the energy on Altaria. So let's use the shield here. And yeah, we just farm it down his health with the dragon. But let's see what you're gonna bring. Maddie Champ or something else. Let's see. It's a Maddie Champ. So let's directly go for the Moon Blast because Moon Blast sometimes make his attack devil. I hope this time can he do, but unfortunately can't. But no no no, he just make his attack. But I didn't see. He just bring his Langton. So let's bring out our immediately Machamp. Because last battle is between the Maddie Champ and Star Maddie Champ and Steelix. Steelix is like tanky Pokemon. We need to deliver almost farm here guys. I thought I can farm him down his health with the surf here, but I did a mistake. I should go for the cross up here. Let's farm it down his health with the dragon tail. We have to deliver the first breaking swipe, make his two-time attack debuff. But I think he doesn't have any shield left, so let's trying to over farm him. So we got one shot earthquake ready for Medicham. Let's farm it down a little bit more and I hope this earthquake can knock him out. Or if he's gonna just survive, I'll be like gone. And yep, bye bye to Medicham here, guys. Really, really close in another GG for us. Moving on to next battle. Steelix versus Vina Sop. It's an average start. Let's go for the breaking swipe first. Let's see how much damage it can do. And almost take it like 50% of his health. And you just bring a swamp out, so let's definitely bring out our Altaria. And yeah, opponent just surrender because you know he can't win from here. GG for us. Moving on to next battle, let's see what opponent have. Steely versus Langton, another bad start. 
So let's try to catch his move first. First let's go for the breaking. So I make his attack debuff. So soft is like do less damage. And yeah, he just saw my ult so he's not gonna go for the like. But I think he go for the Thunderbolt. I got one attack debuff, so Thunderbolt doesn't do much damage just like previous match. Let's go for the sky attack. And he just switch to something else. Let's see what he got. It's a knock talk. Trying to deliver the one more sky attack here, guys. Almost got here, but unfortunately he just got this sky attack first. So gonna let it go, my Altar, I'm gonna bring out Strelix here because Macham is like weak against in wing attack. So let's bring out Strelix, farm it down his health with the Dragon Trill. I'm gonna farm it down his full health. So we got the enough energy for Langton. He go for the Night Slash. Thought he have Shadow Ball. And yeah, we got two Dragon Breaking Swipe ready. Let's see what he's gonna bring. And he just bring his Maddy Cham. Another super effective. Let's go for it. First one down. Let's go for the second one. So he's all the attack like counter, ice punch doesn't do much damage and yep, second one also down. We got the third one also, let's see how much damage it can do and yeah, he doesn't use the shield, that's great. And almost farm here guys, so I'm gonna lower the counter here. But I think not gonna shield this here, let's see, it's psychic super effective but he got three time attack debuff. That's why it doesn't do much damage. And you got the surf, so that's why I save shield because I know you got like back to back surf, so we need two shield from here. And I did a mistake, yeah, I shouldn't use psychic. I didn't use in shield in front of psychic, but fortunately, this match is like got draw. And opponent again in this match, I got like lang done in front of bleed, and opponent just bring his Maddie so definitely gonna bring out my Altaria. But I don't know why he just switched to his Maddie champ. Trying to clear one more sky attack so he can use his both the shield now. So we got advantage and yeah, we got another ice punch ready. So gonna let it go over. Altaria. So let's think first. Let's bring out let's bring out our Steelix and farm it down his whole health with the dragon trail. Now we're gonna shield, let's see. It's an ice punch. And we got one earthquake ready. Let's see what you're gonna bring. One sub and shield will be gone, so we have to. Yeah, if he just bring his lang turn. Let's go for the earthquake. It's like a big move of Steelix. And yeah, he doesn't use it. Let's immediately bring out our Macham. And he just switched to his Travnet. Let's go for the back to back rock slide. He just used his shield. I'm gonna we have to deliver one more rock slide here. I'm gonna shield this. And go for the seed one definitely. And yep, we got another rock slide. Let's see how much damage it can do. And as you can see guys, the damage of rock slide and bye bye to Travnet and yeah, we just farm it down, whole health of LinkedIn only just counter. GG for us, moving on to next button. Steelix vs Mantine, it's an average start because I think he got the bubble, bubble make my attack debuff and dragon breaking swipe make his attack debuff. So this match is gonna take some time I think. Let's go for it. And yeah. Got on the bubble beam, as I told you guys, we only just make e each other's attack debuff. Let's go for another breaking but I think Steelix is gonna win because we already do some more damage because of Dragon Trail and Breaking Swipe. Let's go for it, and yeah, we got another one. Let's see. And he just bring his Diggers B. I know, like, my charm is like. Counter super effective against Diggers B, but Diggers B attack like fire punch, crouching sand are like so quick. So that's why I choose Altaria instead of Macham. Altaria is like tanky, he can take his attack, fire punch, something or scorching sand attack like. And Macham is like squishy, so he can't take two fire punch and Macham will be gone. As you can see, crouching sand fire punch doesn't do any damage on Altaria, he's, we still survive. Go for this guy attack this time, let's see. And yeah, almost ring. Let's farm it down his health with the dragon, but not gonna shield. Not the scratching sand. Yeah, bye bye to Diggers Wheel. Let's see what he's gonna bring. He just bring his Steelix, so we have a problem here. Because Steelix is like quite tanky. And he just bring his Mangtine trying to catch out, and he just did it. Not gonna shield. And yeah, we just survive on low HP. I don't know how my Steelix survives, so it's gonna be like turning point in this match. Let's bring out my charm, farm it down his healthy counter. And I don't know my game because got, got so many lag. So we just have to farm it down. Steelix health here. I know you're gonna use his shield. 
I'm gonna use my shield as well and still it's like tank as you can see the damage of dragon trail guys almost he just use only dragon tail let's see and still it's survive time just got run out we need only have like 10 seconds gonna shield this here we need like one dragon breath to knock out but if it times like go up we still win the match and yeah because my altar health is like way more than still so gg for us as i told you this match is gonna be like really long but we still win moving on to this one still so is Dugong again another average start because Dugong all the drill first let's bring breaking so I make his attack divorce you could definitely go for the like drill run and if you saw my altar you can easily take down so let's finish the Dugong here let's go for another breaking swipe and yeah I think we need one more not gonna shield let's see what he got this time I see will make my attack debuff and he just bring his altar medicham so let's bring out a voltaria yeah, immediately Power of punch, so you got one attack debuff, and I think not gonna take this. Let's use the shield here. Let's send power of punch here, guys. Let's go for another sky attack here. He definitely gonna shield this because you got two time attack debuff. I'm not gonna take any risk here, so let's use the shield because ice punch and my altaria will be gone. He just bring his Dugong to catch and move. Let's bring our Steelix and we got the trap breaking swipe here but i don't think so he can like knock out here i think he's gonna survive yeah that's what i thought we just we both lost our pokemon here and i know he got the medicham and i didn't know what third pokemon he have let's bring out of altaria trying to deliver this guy attack before his charge move but unfortunately he just got this shield already and my altaria will like on so my macham we need to take down trevenant alongside medicham also first let's deliver the rock slide finish the trevenant here Bye bye to Trevenant. We need like one cross shop. I hope this is not the ice punch. And yep, it's in power of punch. We still survive and we got the cross shop here, guys. Really, really close win. GG for us. If you have like, I think I have only one charge of power of punch. That's why back to back to reward it. Moving on to this one. Still, this is Lurantis. It's a great start, but Lurantis got this super power. Let's just go for the breaking swipe. I know you're gonna go for the super power, so let's just make his attack. Leave off. Not gonna shield, we can easily take on super power, all those like super effective, yep. And he just bring his lantern, so let's bring out our Machamp. Gonna shield this here. Let's first gain two energy of cross shop and gonna deliver back to back. Let's go for it. He just use shield, let's go for another one. Yep, we just win this CMP die. Let's see what he's gonna do. And he just uses both the shield now. I'm gonna let it go, my my champion we have one shield advantage so i thought let's bring out altaria trying to farm with the dragon breath here i know you got the one lunatis at the back so not gonna shield i've saved shield for last moment he go for the thunderbolt bye bye to langdon let's see what you're gonna bring he just bring his coal back let's go for the first car attack do some damage and bring out our steelix go for the like one breaking swipe he doesn't got any shield left so we got the advantage Yep, almost take him. I'm gonna shield this here, guys, because I know he go for the shadow wall. Yeah, that's what I thought. Run it is. Let's go for another breaking so I finish him. So we can easily take down gold, but we only just we just need like drag and trail and yep, GG for us guys. Easy win. So that's all for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please do like, comment, share on my video, and please subscribe to my channel.